Hello everybody, this is Pat, playing cameraman for a change, with my little apprentice, my son Christopher, who wanted to learn how to change a tire. So, I loosened up the lug nuts and I put the vehicle up on a jack for him. And he's going to take off each one, one at a time, and place the lug nut aside. I will not let him lift the tires on or off. But he will see the steps and he'll be able to get a little dirty doing so. So he'll be happy too. If you hear leaking, I thought it was I thought it was gas, but it's actually water. Coming out from the back of the truck. Remember folks, this is the two hundred dollar truck. Later on, we're gonna do a little experiment with the headlamps to see if we can get this headlamp to look cleaner like that one if it actually looks any cleaner using some household products that people have told us about i'm going to start off with ash and water i'll even put a strip of tape and i'll also try the toothpaste give you a heads up this is the truck that i diagnosed needing the oil pump the alternator the door latch and while we're in here, I'll teach him how to look for the brakes and see what kind of issues we're going to have with the brakes. I already know which issue you have. You need to repair it. <laughs> That's the whole truck, buddy. Oh. But remember, this is a $200 truck. Oh, Are we going to... said it's $2,000. No. Nope. No, I said it was $200. $200,000. let us not go ahead and be inflating things. Everybody, can you check his video and see if he put $200,000? Put a comment down below if you put 200,000 or 200. I believe I put 200. I even have it typed into the descriptions before. So remember, this is an eight year old boy doing a tire. I fixed my first engine at the age of seven. Yeah, lawnmower engine. So how many lugs are there, Chris? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six lugs, huh? Yep. Is that unique to this vehicle? Or is it different on all vehicles? Um, or different models of vehicles? I would say different models of vehicles. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Okay, careful, buddy. You got it? Or you need a hand? I got it. Okay. Wow. I don't know where to put it exactly. Just lean it against the front of the truck. Okay, come on over here, Chris. Let's learn something here together. Come on over here. Just gonna make sure We're going to look at some uh, basic components here. Okay. Yeah, you can tell this thing's been sitting a while. Okay, this part here is called your brake caliper. Yeah. It is basically a big hydraulic clamp. The brake is right behind The brake pads, the brake pads. Go in between. This is the backing plates I have my fingers of. Okay, that sit within the frame of the caliper and the piston of the caliper that squeeze it together to make the clamp action work. Okay. Okay. Here's your bleeder valve for letting air out when you replace brake lines. Looks like somebody did a brake job or brake lines on this not too long ago, at least on a rubber end. This part is called your rotor. This is the flange area of the rotor where the brake pads actually squeeze on. Inside the bearing cap here, inside this bearing cap is a whole bunch of grease two bearings, and on the back side is a seal. There's a crown nut and a keeper, okay? This here 
That's is the, the coil spring, spring the, the coil spring yeah, for the front suspension the and your shock absorber and the axle here is your upper control arm down here is your lower control arm okay when they're doing front end alignments they're adjusting the upper control arm and the tie rod ends in order to bring your wheels into alignment i have a question yeah is this used to hold the frame to this or is it used to hold this, the whole entire engine together no this has nothing to do with the engine this support goes from the frame to the front bumper to help hold the front bumper square and straight to the front of the vehicle that's why it's so secure <laughs> okay now go ahead and swing your other tire over here <laughs> okay let's see do you need a hand yeah okay take the phone I left the wrench right there. Okay. Now, Chris. Before you tighten that up, why don't you get the rest of the lugs on there? Lug nuts, put them on there. Make sure you get the bolts tight so that when you're right when you're driving your truck the front wheel does not break loose okay now go ahead and pull that off go down to the next one i'll show you how to when you tighten them up no chris do not go to that one go no go directly across And how would you know that, my friend? Because I literally did it for the last time. I was you clamp from one area and you move out diagonally to go ahead and keep the surfaces flat and tight together instead of creating a wobble. Okay? Because the last time when I did the mower and I was putting a t deattaching from a different rigid strap and mower, um, I was taking it off the right way, but I was putting it back on the wrong way. Well, you got to remember, you start your clamping forces in the middle or at opposite sides, and you work your way away from everything. Okay, so get all those snugged up. You have one more left there, I can see. I have two. Okay, go across. Wait, 
when he was loosening these, he literally put his leg up on like this, and then he just jumped on it. I agree, these things are hard to tighten. <laughs> Yeah, you're going to hurt yourself swinging it around like that when it hits you either in the face, the arm, or the foot. And believe me, it hurts when something hits you in the shin. So you don't want to swing it like that if you can avoid it. Okay. Trust me, I've You got that all snugged up? Uh, not really. <laughs> you got them tight pushing the wheel against the vehicle, right? The wheel's not wobbling on a spindle? Not really. Okay. Now, you're going to lower the vehicle down carefully. So, what do you do? Uh, Left. You use this part instead of that part. Right. That part, I don't know what it does, but it, you have to use this part. That's your oil breather, okay, and pressure release valve. Okay, so you want to use that valve there. And not this valve here. Right. Now, give it a slight little twist to the left. Other way. <laughs> I did not expect that. that. You did it too quickly, buddy. I did not expect to do it too quickly. Okay. Well, All right. Now, Chris, take the lug wrench and go opposites again and tighten up all those lugs. What? Opposites. How did you get that Don't one off? Very carefully, honey. Oh, uh, yeah. We... No, we didn't do it carefully. Uh, you want to push it? Down towards the ground, buddy. I have no idea. It's a different way you took it off. The spare. You're not going to kick it. Just lean down on it as hard as you can. I'm punching. You're going to hurt your hand that way. You can get better leverage if you stand up, buddy. <laughs> this is just hard to do. I think Chris, he can't do it. Yeah, he can. Emily? What makes you think I can't do it? I got that one under. Well, I just so. Yeah, by himself. Nothing. Okay. Chris, you go as tight as you can get it. Now go to the next What's, one. Yeah. Emily, out of the way, Em. Dirt. Come on. I don't know. This thing is trash. Okay, this thing was not tightened. And this house is haunted. Okay. Go in the house, honey. Yes, it is. Wow, pretty flowers. They're not blooming. Emily, can you go inside? Nothing's blooming yet over here. Mm, they're not poisonous. Chris, I really think you're going to do it. You never have to leave. <laughs> wow, that's all you can do to me? Did you go all the way across, buddy? No, not yet. I want that one, that one, this one, this one. All right. So you're doing a star pattern somewhat. Well, we'll find out if this tire holds any air better than the other one. Sure. That one was almost <coughs> fully flat. Yep. Trust me, we've had a fully flat tire before. <laughs> it did not look good. Okay. Okay, honey. The joys of working with children. Gotta love it. The curiosity of investigating. Wow, Dad, you really are crazy. Uh, what's this? That's part of the jack, honey. Hmm? Yep. The jack. How does it go on? Uh, you put it underneath and then you da 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 da. Oh, right here? Where the circle's at? Where the big black circle is at, you put that underneath the frame of the vehicle so on this vehicle and you lift it. And then you put that in and you pump it up. All right.
Now, before this vehicle, this vehicle's not gonna be going on the road for quite a while. And the front end's gonna come apart again on it anyway. So I'm not really concerned about these things being super tight right now, but I'll still go over them anyway, just on the spur chance that I get parts for this thing and I get it going. As I said in my earlier video, it needs an alternator, it needs an oil pump. Yes, Emily, it needs, it needs quite a bit. Now, in future videos, I'm gonna be doing the headlamp that Emily is hiding with a couple different products to see if we can clean it up. Here's one I've already cleaned up a little bit. It was just as yellow, but it's still hazy, but it's better than what it was. Talk to y'all later. Have a good day. And let's remember, let's all be kind. It doesn't pay to be any other way. Have a good day.